the next type of risk is market risk. Second type is market risk. How can we define this one? The variability in a security's return resulting from, fl from fluctuation in the aggregate market is known as market risk. So simply, we can say in this way, again, there is a variability in my income. Again, there is a fluctuation in my income. And the reason is the market. So that is called in market risk. If there is a, once again, I'm telling you, if there is a fluctuation in my income, whatever is the reason, that is the risk. Ahmad is the reason, Ahmad risk. Mahmoud is the reason, Mahmoud risk. Market is the reason, so can be called as what? Market risk. The fluctuation in my income resulted from the market or because of market, my income has fluctuated. So this one simply can be called as what? As market risk. Right? All securities are exposed to market risk. Market risk cannot be controlled like interest rate risk. In this risk, are, what are the market risks? For example, recession in the market, right? Decline in the market, recession, market is in the recession. So definitely everyone will suffer. War in the market. This war might be, for example, competitions in the market, right? We can say. Or for example, the, mar the war itself, civil war, country war, and so on, can be called as this one effect on the market as a whole a structural change in the economy right so there is a the structural change in the economy because of a structural change so there might be fluctuation in my income tax law change for example there is a change in the in the in the rate of in the rate of tax right for example in the last year rate of tax was 20 percentage if i made one lakh then i had to pay only 20000 to the government then in this year, tax rate has increased to 30%. Now, out of 1 lakh, I have to pay 30,000 to the government. This is also a risk. Change in the consumer preference. If there, is a, if there is a change in the consumer preference, consumer do not like to use, for example, a particular brand anymore. If this is so, if this is so, in this case, of course, there's a chance of loss for that brand. Previously, for example, I was, uh, we can say, willing to, uh, for example, take street food, right? Now, my preference has changed, so I am using only from the hotels only, not on the street foods. So there is a, uh, we can say, a chance of loss for those uh, people who are selling foods on the street, right? So the change in the consumer preferences, also a type of market risk. So these are the types of risks which cannot be controlled. Competition in the market, it is like that, right? Several other shortage of, for example, materials. Shortage of, for example, supply, right? There is no demand for your product. So several other factors which can affect in the market and you cannot sell your product and there's a chance of loss. So this can be called as well market risk. Next one is purchasing power risk. What do you mean by purchasing power risk? First of all, what do you mean by purchasing power? Purchasing power simply means it is the power of money. If money can purchase more commodities, we can say purchasing power of money is more. If money can purchase less commodity, on that case, we can say purchasing power of money is less. Let us say, for example, last year we could purchase one kg of apple with 100, we can say Afghani. But this year we have to pay 150 Afghani in order to purchase one kg of apple. So in this case, we can say purchasing power of money is decreased. Why purchase of po purchasing power of money is decreased? Because last year, 100 of Afghani could purchase one kg of apple. But this year, 100 cannot purchase one kg of apple. You have to pay 150 in order to purchase one kg of apple, right? So this is called purchasing power. What is purchasing power risk? Purchasing power risk means the possibility of reducing the value of money. The possibility of decreasing the value of money in the market is called what? Purchasing power risk. And the risk, the purchasing power risk is because of what? Because of inflation. Sometimes we can call it inflation risk as well. Purchasing power risk is because of what? Because of inflation. Why value of currency decrease? Value of currency decreased because of what? Because of inflation. What is inflation? Inflation means the value of the commodity increased against a particular currency, for example, in a particular locality. The general 
value of commodity increase, not the value of a particular commodity. The value of a particular group of commodities increase. For example, the value of fast foods increase. This is called inflation. Okay? The value of, for example, vegetables, all vegetables increase in the market. This is called inflation in the vegetable. The value of all foods, different types of foods increase. This is called inflation. A value of one type of vegetable increase, but the other one decrease. In this case, we cannot call inflation in the overall, uh, we can say, vegetables or the baskets. So we can call it inflation or only if the general price of the commodity increase in the market. For example, this is called inflation. Last year, 100 could purchase 1 kg of apple, but this year you have to pay 150. Why you have to pay 150? Because value of currency decreased. Or simply, you can say what is inflation. Inflation simply means increase in the value of commodity or decrease in the value value of uh, money. Right? Basically, if we want to invest in the securities, right, there are basically two types of interest or two types of income. How many types of income? Two types of income. One type of income is called real income. And the other type of income is called nominal income. Nominal income. Nominal income. What is a real income, basically? A real income is equal to nominal income minus inflation. Minus what? Minus inflation. And we know what we mean by this one. What is real income, basically? So let me write here. Real income means the income after minusing or after deducting the inflation. Let us say, for example, my real income. Let me mention in this way. My real income is equal to, let us say, for example, last year, my nominal income. What do you mean by nominal income? Any income which you receive from the security or any income which you receive from your project is called nominal income. Let us say, for example, last year, my nominal income was 20%. And inflation in the market was, for example, 8 percentage. How many percentage? 8 percentage. If you minus to and from 20, so definitely you get how many percentage? You get, of course, 12 percentage. In this case, so this is called real income, right? So whatever is your nominal income, nom after nominal income, you have to minus your inflation. Then whatever is the reason, whatever is the result, so that is called what? Real income. As much as in, as much as inflation increase in the market, my real income decrease. Let us say, for example, in this example, my real income is equal to. Let us say, for example, again my nominal income is twenty percentage, but this year in this year inflation increased to ten percentage. How many percentage? Ten percentage. If this is so, my real income decrease. So let me give you or let me summarize you, summarize for you this one. If interest, if inflation increase in the market, if inflation increase in the market, the real income decrease. But on the other side, if inflation decrease in the market, my real income will increase. Let me give an example of this one as well. Let us say, for example, real income, right? Another example of real income. Let us say my nominal income was 20 percentage, but the inflation decreased to 5 percentage. How many percentage? 5 percentage. If this is so, in this case, my real income increase. So my real income depends on the inflation. If inflation increase, my real income decrease. If inflation decrease, my real income increase. So this is called what purchasing power is, or we can say inflation. So if because of inflation, my income fluctuate, that is called inflation.